hopefully my camera doesn't fall. What's up guys? Welcome to this week's vlog. I'm starting it <laughs> in the car as I am, and it's like 11 o'clock at night. I'm picking up my sister from the airport. I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in months. Like, I haven't seen her in so long. Uh, uh. I'm here with my sister. That's Gina. I picked her up from the airport and it's almost midnight. I have to get through two more cranial nerves and then I can go to sleep. <laughs> so she's just watching Parks and Rec. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so we'll just see you guys in the morning. Okay. It's like Wait, herding cats. <laughs> 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 what did you get? Polka tots. Hey, what Polka the heck? She says, With the family. Yay! Oh. There's my sister. <laughs> Not in my PJs. So, do we look alike? Not in time. No. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. So, we're at um, brunch. There's our mom. Taking a picture and uh, classic mom, the flash is on. <laughs> he got his cupcake. Are you happy? happy boys. <laughs> Ooh, you wear your sunglasses from T I J N. Check them out. Yes, <laughs> y'all, it's way too hot. Yeah, I have the keys. We took pictures at Pawnee. Do you know what's fascinating about this location? This is where they shot uh, Parks and Rec, Pasadena yeah, City Hall. It is so hot. We are in Pawnee, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday, and I am meeting my parents for coffee and my sister. They are leaving and going back home to the Bay Area today. So I just was going to say goodbye. And no, they probably will. Be. Yeah. Huguma, Huguma, there we go. Is that your name now? Yes. Huguma. Bye, Bye, mom. Sweetie. We love you. We love you. Bye. It's so good to see you. Bye, mom. It's so good to see you. Yay. Okay. So, how can we get a place up here? <laughs> Two hours to get it together um, to go to class. We have a long day, so I can't really just not go. So I'm gonna have to tap it up and get this, sh this stuff out of me. Ugh. I am still not feeling well. I have 30 minutes until I need to decide if I can make it to school for lecture today. I'm trying to drink some tea, but um, it is not really staying down, but I'm just hoping that the caffeine can like do its thing before it comes back up, you know, because I have a caffeine like withdrawal headache right now. I'm trying. I'm really trying to go. I'll just sit here and do Anki. I didn't end up going and I think I'm gonna have to skip out for all day today. I sent an email to try and figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do. I finally broke my fever, I think. I'm so hot. I've been sleeping all day. <laughs> I can't wait for this to be over tomorrow. I'm hoping it's just 24 hours. It is Tuesday. Yesterday was really rough. I'm feeling like 80% better. I need to start doing all of this because the curriculum still goes on, whether you are ready or not. Oh, you guys have no idea how nice it feels to have energy. I'm about to enter society for the first time in like 24 hours. I'm not into it, I'm going back. I'm just, I caught up on everything for yesterday. Now I have to go to lab OMM for an hour, which, you know, that is bearable for this state of um, health that I'm in right now. Yeah, so let's do it. Yes, okay, let's go. 
I survived the OMM just an hour, so it was not that bad. You guys, today is a really special day. I'm really excited. Um, I get to dissect the face. I know that sounds really morbid. One of my friends just called me Hannibal. Um, it's not because I'm weird. It's just gonna be like really fun and precise. I'm so excited and I'm wearing old scrubs from when I shadowed a cardiothoracic surgeon in UC Davis and like it's just bringing me good vibes. It's gonna be a good day you guys. I can feel it and it's like crisp fall air today. Oh, it's gonna be a great day. Night section. I mean, it was cool. It was super cool. I skinned the face really well. Like, I didn't destroy the muscles um, because the muscles of the face like insert onto the skin. So it's really hard to pull the skin back without pulling the muscles back too. One of the. Ooh, it's so windy. <laughs> What's up, guys? We just had IPE great time. I got some coffee because I have a lot to learn today. Hey guys, good morning. So it's Halloween. I didn't even realize. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's Halloween and I totally forgot. I want to apologize again. I feel like this is a weekly thing, apologizing about being a bad vlogger. Um, last week threw me off with assessment week and then getting back into the flow this week was kind of weird because then I was sick. I was just kind of like a rocky start to this week and this new block of, which is neuro and like head and neck, which is really difficult. It's a lot of stuff. I just wanted to talk about like two things really quickly. One being your health. I realized and learned this week the hard way um, not that I could have really avoided getting whatever like bug I got, but um, how important it is to stay on top of your health. It's like scary because I easily could have gotten or had the flu and been out for like two weeks. But you know, when you're sick like that and you miss that much material, like one day, you know, kind of put me behind and there wasn't even that much to learn, but it was like the density of the material. Like you could easily fall behind and the next thing you know, you're having to redo the entire year of school over again because you fell behind for a week or two weeks and like you couldn't catch up. Just be aware and be very mindful about what you're putting into your body and all of that stuff because you gotta be healthy and be the best that you can be. And then the other thing I want to talk about is um, anatomy, the anatomy dissection from yesterday and um, we did dissect the face. I was really excited to do that. But I just, I know a lot of you are curious about like how people respond to cadavers. Dissecting the hands and feet, yes, like seeing them, seeing the hands and seeing the feet, that really makes it more like human-esque, I guess. It's like seeing somebody's hands and seeing somebody's feet. Um, but the face obviously makes it way more emotional just because you're seeing somebody's face and like you're seeing that individual who, you know, gifted their body to you. So it is pretty emotional and um, I really appreciate that the school and the faculty um, let us do a moment of silence for the moment that we are about to have with our cadaver and um, just to be respectful of the, the that person who gave their body to us. Take it in and appreciate the dissection that we were about to do and it was just it was really nice of them to do that and I'm really appreciative that they did that. If you're worried about having emotions and stuff like that towards a cadaver um, when you're doing dissections they give you time and they, they understand like everyone responds differently and that's okay and I just wanted to touch on that really quick. I have a lot to learn today <laughs> what's new and um, that's about it so let's do this. Life of a medical student. <laughs> Happiness. <laughs> Happiness. <laughs> um, my roommates are having people over and they're having fun. I have to study because we have a quiz tomorrow. I'm not complaining. I'm very grateful to be doing, you know, this. Just kind of, I don't really want to study today. I can't believe I'm doing an outro like this. I filmed it on my vlog camera, but honestly, I just wasn't into it. You know, I'll get you guys better content next week. I promise, like, you can 
just count on me to do that because I like to work hard and do the best that I can. Yeah. Uh, I just want to wrap up this week's vlog and give you guys a formal goodbye because we love the humanism in saying goodbye and wrapping things up. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you guys learned that you need to take care of yourselves. Seriously, please take care of yourselves. And it's like physically and you're, and mentally, all of you guys are incredible. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. What are these hand movements? Um, yeah, so until next time, take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves, and continue to work hard. And I love you guys so much. Okay, bye. Another night without rest. Well, I'm gonna give it my best. And hopefully, I'll make it out of one piece. Or maybe two. And if I don't, it's okay, cause I've got all of you.